Bill with the Chicago Tiny House Festival. Right behind me is the shed and it has a really cool shed feature on it that we're going to show you later in the video. Let's go inside and show you what's inside. Inside, this is a very open concept tiny house. It has very big windows, and right here, as you walk in, this is the couch. There's no cushions on it right now, um, but it has storage in it. So pull out drawers that have soft clothes on them, and the entertainment center is right behind you to the side of you, which has outlets and a TV, a space for a TV. You can also see the stairs right here that have a very familiar, um, very familiar uh, storage in them with drawers and little cubbies as well. And then as we work our way back here, we kind of have like an island type uh, thing with drawers back here for utensils and stuff. This is a kind of a shorter um, loft. So if you're a little taller than 6'3", you're not going to have very much luck fitting under here. But it's normal, it's normal height for the average person. There's really cool inset lighting, so it looks really cool back here. And you can also still uh, see the steel bracing. You have controls for the water heater or um, the thermostat. You have a light switch outlet, which is GFI, um, so if you're working with any any water or anything like that over here. You have a really nice window that's really long. You have a stove back here, and I would say only like probably one person would be cooking at a time because you don't want to get too many people back here. But you have a really nice deep sink with a really cool faucet, so you're able to do lots of dishes without a dishwasher. And this house also has a washer and dryer combo back here that's really cool. And some more shelves for detergent and stuff like that. Um, has a pretty uh, generic type fridge which is a little apartment size and it would work fine for the average tiny house person. So as you go up the stairs, there's a really nice lot. It has lots of headroom so you're not going to be hitting your head. And that's why this is a little shorter so you, it's, you know, you give some and you take some. So, with this being shorter, you have a lot of headroom and you're almost able to kneel up there. So it's really nice. Um, obviously with the mattress up there, um, that's gonna cut in on the, your height, but it's still a really big loft for tiny houses. Right here is the bathroom. Now you might notice for how long a house this is, it's kind of a shorter bathroom. I'll get to that a little later, but this bathroom has a normal shower, a nice sink and a uh, toilet. Also a pocket door right here and the mini split unit is right above here. So it's in a great location to get all the cooler or hot air out and it also has um, a water heater control right next to the sink so you're able to set the you know the amount of heat you want your water to be so when you take a shower that's ready to go so we're gonna make our way outside and i'll show you the really cool feature that is on this tiny house so pardon the mess they're kind of setting up for the festival right now but right back here you can see these stairs and there's a door back here, which you don't really see in many tiny houses. And in this door, it's like a garage. So there's a light switch in here, right here somewhere. And you can fit bikes in here. There's a fuse panel on here. So you, it's, a, it's a garage in a tiny house, which you don't really see very often. You can see I'm probably 5'9", and this is really tall and you can fit at least three bikes side up standing and you have all this room back here so it's a really cool area it has ventilation in it and it has a fuse panel right there outlets so you could paint this and this would be a perfect area to store all your your um, nice outdoor equipment so sorry about the wood noise but really all there is on this side is you can see the windows and there's lots of connections for um, water hookup tv hookup and the electrical hookup so that's all there is on this side. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this tour. Um, Bob is really busy right now. That's why I did it solo. But if Bob wasn't busy, he really would like to join us. Um, my dad is right back here, helps us film this. So thank you, Dad. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this tour. This is a really unique house, and I really like that cool idea of putting the shed in the back. And this is actually called the shed. So there's a reason for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.